When building a compact stereo system, you want to achieve the minimum size of the equipment with high sound quality, as well as get the most features at a reasonable price. Today I will tell you about the Rose family of compact hi-fi components, digital to analog converter, audiophile player, network streamer and amplifier. Not compact enough for you? For me too. But it's actually one device. So nice and all powerful. Hello everyone, this is Pult Electronics and me, Tico. Let's go! If you take a look at the capabilities of this machine, at first you are at a loss. How should one classify it? Usually such things are called network amplifiers or network receivers, but both options do not fully characterize the potential of this amazing kit. Rose's marketers called their product a professional hi-fi media player for some reason, although it is designed primarily for home use. Moreover, it is not just a player, it has a built-in amplifier and even an output to an external amplifier. I decided to call the Korean Rose RS201E simply. A, a super, super thing, thing for the audiophile and the movie lover. lover. Just kidding. But I am stating, quite seriously, that from the majority of other compact network amplifiers, receivers and players, this Rose RS201E is distinguished by the ability to play not only audio of any format, but also video. And it has no classic volume knob because the entire front panel is covered by a huge touchscreen display with great picture quality because it has an IPS panel. In general, when looking at the Rose RS201E, it makes you think that all of its competitors are stuck in the past. The 28cm wide stylish enclosure contains everything an audiophile needs. It has a Class D amplifier with about 50 honest watts per every channel. There are three ways to control it, via the proprietary app, via the luxurious 22cm touchscreen display, or via the included Bluetooth remote. Looking at the luxurious touchscreen display, or an external screen, like a TV or a projector. That's because the Rose has HDMI output and support for most known video file types at resolutions up to 4K at 60 frames per second. Speaking of audio, this Rose can play virtually any audio file and stream, including high definition PCM, MQA, and DSD. Thus, the RS201E can easily become the only source not only in the compact but also in a conventional stereo system. Well, in a compact stereo system it can be the only device, not counting the speakers. The Rose can receive media content via the local network, via wire or Wi-Fi, from USB drives, for which there are two ports and a back panel. Of course, all popular streaming services are supported, including Cobus. There is full Rune support as well. Or, your music and video can be stored directly inside the device on an SD card with a capacity up to 512GB. The body of the device is made of steel, but the front and top panels are made of anodized aluminum. Looks great! The audio part of the player is based on the ESS Sabre 1980K2M chip, as well as the proprietary power separation technology and jitter suppression. There is an optical input to work in external DAC mode. Moreover, there is one analog input and a headphone output. The capabilities of this little device can blow your mind. This little beautiful thing can do everything a modern audiophile and a movie lover can dream of. However, our task as reviewers is not just to tell you the specifications from the catalog, but to make sure to mention all the important nuances of actual use. So that you know the true advantages and disadvantages of the device. Frankly speaking, this model has no obvious disadvantages. But there are nuances that need to be mentioned. Among them, for example, is the wireless remote, which works via Bluetooth. It is cool that you don't need to point the remote at the device, but a couple of times, the commands from the remote were perceived by the device with some hesitation. Overall, though, it's okay. Second, and this is much more important, the built-in amplifier. Its potential is much more than enough for small speakers. And the sound quality is unlikely to disappoint you. But that's true only for small systems. For more high-end installations than a shelf in a bedroom or an office, it is better to use an external amplifier. Fortunately, the Rose has an output for it. And then its very, very decent sounding part will demonstrate all its musical abilities. So the creators called the device a player for a reason, but not a streaming amplifier. And if you want to create the most accurate sounding compact stereo system from one device and a pair of speakers, 
then the competitors of this Korean device can be even more interesting for you. Especially Cambridge Audio Evo 150 or name Unity Atom. Their integrated amplifiers sound better, although both don't have that superb display and no video support at all. However, if you're building a larger system and are willing to buy an external amplifier, Rose probably has no competition. It is currently one of the most versatile signal sources in the world, especially among models of this size. Though personally I am willing to buy it only because in music playback mode you can see a very realistic imitation of the front panel of some vintage amplifier with arrow indicators on the cool display. It really looks nice and it really helps to tune in to a comfortable listening experience. I'm not kidding right now. You'll find all the necessary information below. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.